Hey guys, and welcome to another exciting edition of Scrubs Garage. Uh, today I'm excited to bring you a product I've been looking forward to installing for quite a while and having the motor out of the car uh, where I can get easy access to the oil pan uh, is the perfect time to install this. Though you could install it while it's still in the car, uh, it would be a little bit more tricky. And so today I'm installing uh, a product from Improved Racing and specifically for the C5 Corvettes with the Batwing style uh, oil pan. So it's their internal baffles, these trap doors that go um, around the oil pickup tube and it helps control oil sloshing side to side. So this is particularly beneficial for a car that sees track use or aggressive street driving or certainly a drift car uh, where you get a lot of g-forces loading side to side that could slosh the oil away from the pickup tube. Um, you always want to keep that submerged uh, in oil otherwise you suck a pocket of air and it goes through your oil system. So this product, <coughs> I'll show you the box I don't know if you can see the part number or not, um, EGM202, but it's for their, uh, for the Batwing oil pan. So these press into place, I'll set the gasket to the side for a moment. Um, they're kind of a, a press fit, snap into place on the um, internal bracing in here. So they'll press down into place. And then you always make sure that the trap doors open towards the oil pan or towards the oil pickup tube um, and not the other way around. So what you're allowing is oil to come in this way but not to go back out. So you're always keeping the oil uh, centered around this pickup tube. So you do have to make uh, some modifications to the pan gasket. Here I'll, I'll overlay this so you can see. Kind of get this centered. So I don't know if you can see while it's on the, the video or not. Um, so you have this internal webbing or bracing in the oil pan gasket. Uh, this is the lower pan gasket. Um, so what we'll have to do is trim away part of the pan gasket. I don't know if you will be able to see it. So they include instructions on this. Uh, so they recommend trimming off this piece, this piece, and this cross piece back here. Um, and once you kind of get these in place, you can test fit and kind of see uh, why they need to be modified. So we'll end up trimming a section through here, a section over here, and then you may not be able to see it on the camera, this is in the way, but this cross piece that comes uh, back here. It'd also be good to show you, <clears throat> so what are we accomplishing? What are these baffle doors actually blocking off uh, when we look at the, the bottom of the pan, right? So this would sit this way. So if we flip it over, right, so this opening would actually be over here. And then this opening would be over here. So this trap door would block this opening. So it's allowing oil to come this way. Remember your pickup tube would be sitting in here. So you're allowing oil that's over here in this section of the, the pan to come into the pickup tube area but not be able to flow back out. The trap door on the other side uh, blocks this opening here. So the same concept, oil from over here can flow into the pickup tube area but not flow out. Then you've got this one back here at the back. So that actually sits, see if I can get it where you can see it. Uh, back over here. So it's blocking these two and directing them into the center channel. So you see this cutout, this little notch here, actually fits over this. So it would actually sit, get it where you can see it, in here like that. So it opens this way so oil can flow into the pickup tube area but not flow back out and that's our goal so that so that's where they fit and how they install uh, so we'll move forward on modifying um, the lower pan gasket so that these fit properly uh, if you didn't trim 
this plastic webbing out of the, the pan gasket, um, it wouldn't sit flush. The other thing I'm going to do, so since I know where I get the most benefit from with the, these trap doors, I'm going to position it far enough forward, particularly on this side, so that I can leave this corner of the bracing. Um, that'll leave some support that ties it in from over here all the way across. Um, and I do that by moving this baffle door forward just a, a pinch. You won't be able to move it, but so far forward, otherwise you get into this cross web webbing and it, uh, it it won't go but so far forward. And same thing over here. Um, I'll position it in place so that I can keep this corner over here. And that would just um, retain a little bit of rigidity uh, to the pan gasket and help keep things in place uh, once we bolt it down. So like I said, these will snap into place. There, there will be a press fit. Um, and then once we bolt the pan gasket down, it sandwiches it uh, in there and they wouldn't be able to move or come out. So overall, it looks like a very nicely made kit. These are a machined aluminum uh, piece. They weigh absolutely nothing. It's a very simple piece. Um, but overall, I think they'll, they'll do the trick. So let's move forward with the installation. Okay, for trimming the plastic webbing inside the uh, lower pan gasket, just using a pair of uh, side snips. Kind of line it up and then uh, just trim it back. So that's what we ended up with. So you can see, cut out a piece here, piece over here, and then this cross piece uh, back here. And then, uh, like I said, as you do it, just keep double checking. I went ahead and pressed these, um, the trap doors into place so I knew exactly where they would sit. Uh, this back one, you know, this pin is a, a cast piece and then they machine uh, the gasket surface uh, to be flat but the walls are still cast so they're a little rough or irregular so I had to tap uh, this corner down into place so this is actually really in there now uh, but that's fine like I said uh, this piece is probably machined to much higher tolerances than uh, the casting on this old pan wall but anyway it fits properly uh, just one last double check and then uh, we'll move on to installing the, the pan over this. Okay, so time for final installation. Put the lower pan on. We'll make sure everything sits down properly, doesn't get hung on anything. Yeah, perfect. I've got a uh, flashlight. I'm going to peek through just to make sure Okay, got all my bolts started, and now we can torque these down. Uh, we'll do a cross side to side uh, pattern, make sure the pan lays flat, uh, and these get torqued to 106 inch pounds, uh, which is right at nine foot pounds. Uh, so make sure you get that right. These are a small bolt, uh, so don't go crazy on these. Uh, it doesn't take much to properly seat the gasket, and that's all you need. Otherwise, uh, you run the risk of stripping these bolts, which of course means you've stripped the oil pan, and then you got big problems. There we go. Uh, I got the lower oil pan on. 
uh, properly torqued. Uh, just make sure you go around, make sure the gasket looks like it's properly seated. Everything should be, should sit nice and flush. And that's how you install your improved racing uh, bat wing, oil pan, uh, trap door baffles. So, hope this helps. I uh, look forward to hearing how this installation goes for you. Uh, as always, please like and subscribe if you found this helpful. And we'll look forward to seeing you next time. Thanks for tuning in.